What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on Perpetually Abroad. Today I'm going to talk about five things I miss about living in Vietnam and five things I don't miss living in Vietnam. So let's jump into the video. I left Vietnam a few months ago. I relocated to Taiwan. Now I'm in Scandinavia. I'm just here for a holiday. Or right, it's so a number one, I would say early mornings, okay? So I'm an early racer, which means that I wake up naturally like 6 a.m. every day, okay? So I'm used to uh, morning activities and stuff like that. And that's why Vietnam is really good if you're an early racer, you know? So I love that about Vietnam and that's a thing I really miss about Vietnam. So I love the fact that you can get up 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., you can go out on the street and there's just it's just busy. It's bustling, you can get food, you can get coffee, shops are open, you know, markets and stuff like that. So I really like that about Vietnam and that's a thing I really miss actually. And I'm making this list as an INFJ male, okay? So if you don't know about that, it's part of the 16 personalities in the MBTI personality type system. So if you don't know about that, I will put a link in the description. You guys can check it out. So another thing that I miss about Vietnam in general is actually the climate. So if you didn't know, I used to live in Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City. And the climate there is tropical and it's hot all year round. And I really like that, even though it can be a little bit too hot, like in April, May. But in general, I really love the hot climate and the fact that, you know, you can go outside in the morning and it's like 27 degrees and stuff like that. That's one thing I miss because in Scandinavia now, for example, where I am now, it's literally like in the middle of the summer and I need to wear my jacket and it's really windy and stuff like that. So I really miss that about Vietnam. Okay, so number three is a thing that I personally liked in Vietnam because I am able to speak Vietnamese fluently, I would say. At least I understand everything and I can make myself understood in almost every case and stuff like that. So it was very convenient for me to live in Vietnam because I could do everything by myself. And I did many things by myself as well. Like I, all the paperwork and stuff like that, I usually took care of them myself. And it was a nice feeling that I could just be in charge and I could fix everything on my own. But in the case of Taiwan, which I compare into today, uh, the case is a little bit different because I don't speak Mandarin that well at least not yet so it's hard for me to like do things by myself in terms of like paperwork and stuff like that so that's one thing i really miss about vietnam i want to be independent and in taiwan some cases i really need to rely on some other people to help me with things and sometimes it can be you know just simple stuff like ordering at a restaurant and stuff like that but nowadays you have a lot of good tools you can use google lens for example you can take a photo of the menu and stuff like that and get an instant translation so that's really nice but yeah communication is one thing that i really miss about vietnam so yeah let's jump into number four guys One of the things that I really miss about Vietnam is affordable services. And as you might know, many people associate Vietnam with cheap. Okay, the word cheap. So in many cases, Vietnam is cheap. In many cases, not as cheap as you might think. But affordable services is one thing that I really miss about Vietnam. I have to say like, for example, it's very affordable to just grab a grab. <laughs> no pun intended, but like grab a taxi or something like that. It's, it's very affordable compared to many other countries. And like, for example, in my case, uh, like <laughs> hair wash and stuff like that. Like, I don't like massage. I actually really don't like massage, but I like head massage and stuff like that. So you can easily go to a local shop, pay a few dollars maximum, or you can go to a high-end shop you can have some kind of scope treatment and stuff like that and it's maybe you know ten dollars and stuff like that maybe slightly more if it's a really nice shop not just like hair wash and taxi and stuff like that but 
you know, like just deliveries. You know, it's so easy in Vietnam. You, you want to ship a document or you want to ship stuff or whatever. You can just like easily order a shipment in your app and you ship it for like literally like peanuts. You know what I mean? It's like one dollar here, two, three, may, maybe four, five dollars maximum. You can send packages uh, instantly around the city. So, all right, that's number four. So let's jump into number five. Number five, guys, would be wide access to food, okay? So, in general, I really miss that about Vietnam. Like, it's so easy to get food ready to made or even buy groceries, for example. So, and me, I love Japanese food, which is a paradise if you live in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. So, I really miss that in general, just a wide access. It's just very easy to order food online, cheap uh, delivery and stuff like that. Yeah, so the wide access to food and also if you like street food or whatever, you can easily get it. Obviously, as you guys know, like in so. Taiwan, for example, you can get food pretty easily as well, but not as easy as Taiwan. And especially here in Scandinavia, obviously it's not as easy <laughs> as Vietnam. So that's one thing I really miss about Vietnam. Okay, just as a bonus thing, a number six on things I will miss about Vietnam is the lack of birds. Okay, especially when you're in Europe, you will see birds everywhere and I really don't like birds. I love animals, but I don't like pigeons and all these kind of birds. So that's one thing I really loved about Vietnam. You could sit anywhere outside without being able to have to worry about uh, birds and stuff like that so that's a thing i will really miss about vietnam no birds whatsoever all right guys let's get into the juicy stuff okay so this is what i know you've been waiting for i know you guys just don't want to hear like i love vietnam everything is like the best about vietnam and stuff like that that's just boring and fake so number one i would say and it's in not in a particular order but i would say noise level like it's never quiet anywhere but in general it's never quiet and if you didn't know it's not like a concern in vietnam to be like quiet around other people and stuff like that so if you didn't know that it might be good to know that if you're going there for a vacation or whatever so it's not like a a rude thing to scream or be very loud uh, around other people so and it can be karaoke at night it can be just extremely loud talking volumes for example and stuff like that Right, number two guys i would say air quality or lack of and air pollution okay so i lived in saigon and the air in saigon is much better than hanoi because in hanoi it's unbelievably bad year round in saigon however it's a little bit better but it really depends on the month and stuff like that but in general the air is really bad and when you live in that kind of environment you kind of don't think about it because you're so used to it but it is really bad health wise especially long term so i will not miss that all right number three on the list guys i would say lack of queuing system because <laughs> Again, for me personally, maybe some people, they have no problem with it, but for me personally, coming from Scandinavia as well and love spending time in Japan, the lack of queuing system in Vietnam is something I will not miss because there is no queuing system, basically. Wherever you line up, I, I cannot even count how many times I've had to like poke people on their back and just say, yo, I was in front of you or I was ahead of you or whatever in their head like it's not a problem because they don't have the concept of like queuing so all right so number four guys would be 
trash or rubbish, okay? So I'm an environmentalist. And actually I used to work at an organization years, years ago that we were dealing with this kind of stuff in Vietnam. And all I can say is like, they have a lot to work on, you know, and slowly, slowly they're working towards it. But I just have a really hard time seeing all the tr trash or rubbish everywhere. You know, it kind of hurts, really hurts, you know what I mean? But you have to raise the awareness for people to understand the consequences of just throwing rubbish everywhere and stuff like that. So uh, that's number four on the list of things I will not miss seeing the scene or the view of uh, rubbish or trash literally everywhere. So it's sad to say, but uh, yeah, let's jump into the last point. All right, so number five on the list, guys, I want to say lack of SOP and just bureaucracy. Okay? Uh, especially when you do business in Vietnam, it's not that easy and smooth because of the lack of SOPs and stuff like that. So just an unclear and kind of like not straightforward processes and stuff like that. And even if you have a rule, maybe it will not be enforced or um, because many times SOPs doesn't exist there. Like it can be anything from, uh, for example, the apartment block I lived in uh, just before I left. It was one of the most luxurious places in Saigon actually. And even that place, uh, they could not really enforce their uh, resident uh, guidelines and rules and regulations. They, they were always like uh, things uh, that were missed or not followed. So uh, we had a tennis court and you're supposed to be able to book it according to a specific rule set, set of rules, but it was not followed. So um, yeah, it was just unfair and stuff like that. And, it's just a lack of following SOPs or rule set. Uh, so yeah. All right guys, that's it for the video today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to share a little bit about things I really miss about Vietnam and some things I don't miss about Vietnam because wherever you live, I mean, when you leave a place, there are things you're gonna miss and there are things you're not gonna miss. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well and take care and I'll see you in the next video.